parking is a long tradition here at College Avenue United Methodist Church, one that we're very proud of. It goes back all the way to back when the football team at K-State was struggling and had challenges, but eventually when our new coach arrived and it grew and it's become a real important ministry to the church. All the money raised goes to support the youth in mission and they get the opportunity to turn around and give back to their community. It's a really fantastic program. We're very proud of the fact that on game day, it's a full operation of youth and their parents. Everyone is here. It's all hands on deck helping to park. As you can see, so many cars um, for all the fans here for K-State game day. It takes everybody pulling together and working hard and it's a lot of fun. is uh, that we get to give the money that we make back to the community because I mean to be honest being out in the hot and the cold it, it doesn't it's not that fun sometimes but it's it's definitely worth it because we get to give back and we get to go on a mission trip and give back in several ways this experience is really rewarding because we just like get experience working and volunteering and I mean the people are just great Everyone's just so kind in the parking lot. Like you can walk around and people like hand you tickets and hand you food. Like they're just so nice. You know, the kids love it. It's fun for them to come out. They're here. They're part of the excitement of game day. They have an actual job to play. Um, but I really think it's meaningful to them when they come and they're um, trying to figure out who to give this grant money to. This money makes a huge difference. And you really get the opportunity to see these kids sort of mature and discern the needs and how the best um, use this money to be fruitful. And they just learn so much through this program. This is my fifth season of organizing the reserved parking for the football games for the youth group. Um, I think it started in the early 90s um, just as a um, $5 donation as um, parkers came in. Um, then as um, more parkers were coming, the youth proposed to the church that they you have this as a reserved parking space and that the youth would use the money for missions. Um, it started very simply. They never advertised. It was always word of mouth and it continues to be word of mouth. We don't advertise. Um, last year we had 209 parkers. This year we have 180 um, that have reserved spots in our parking lot. And then the money does go for, for missions. The youth reserve some for their own mission trip um, that they take every summer, which pays for the registration costs for any mission and for the transportation and their meals to that mission site. Then the remaining of the money is then distributed between um, and among organizations, community organizations, that kind of fit in with our church's um, statement of values, um, promoting dignity of others, showing compassion to others, promoting spirituality, and developing that sense of community. So as um, the kids look at um, granting out their monies, that's what they they look for in the organizations that apply for those grants. Well, I think that this program both sends such a strong message and, and that is really, really important. But also, there are so many wonderful programs out there, but there are always needs that fall through the cracks. And this filled those cracks, filled those needs. So we don't use the funds for things that are already out there, services that are already out there. But there's always something that's, that's a barrier uh, that we can use these funds for where that service can't be received anywhere else. And that's the importance. It's filling the little gaps in that safety net to really make sure everybody has what they need, especially the children.